Hello everyone, this is James Durheim. I'm the owner and founder of European Focus, and I'm going to show you the village of Ulbach, which I photographed for genealogist Sandy Norton. I hope you enjoy this little spin through Ulbach, as I do my best to capture the essence of the town, the surroundings, the countryside, the oldest houses and buildings that the ancestors of Sandy would have known. And I'm going to stop now and let Sandy take over with her, in her own words, what Ulbach means to her. Johann Gottlieb Lemley and his wife Anna Maria, plus their children, decided to make the long journey and immigrated to America from Ulbach, Germany in 1830. Genealogy research has shown that most of the Lemleys were vintners, which led me on an even bigger quest. Since I am unable to visit, the next best thing was a photography tour. Once I know the approximate time frame when my client's ancestors left a village, I concentrate my photography on houses that would have been standing in that time so that the Genealogists can experience the town and the area through the eyes of their ancestors. I wanted to learn more about their lives and the town where they lived before leaving for America. I wondered what the town was like compared to now. And my journey begins now. Germans have a deep respect for their history and they work hard to preserve it. Buildings that would have been torn down many years ago in the United States, for example, are instead rehabilitated and preserved and used again. So that it's fairly easy for me to capture scenes that would have been known by Sandy's ancestors in 1830 when they left for new lives in America, and to convey those scenes through my photography and video to help a better understanding of what life was like in the old country. You can actually feel yourself walking down the streets, likely the same ones they walked on, and probably shopping at the same type of markets as shown here. The church has been remodeled or rebuilt several times, but the hearts of it still remain. Knowing my ancestors were baptized, married, and many were likely buried in the cemetery here makes me feel even more connected to Obach and my family. I also wonder where they lived and how they lived. What did their homes look like? As I view these beautiful homes and the architecture, I now have a feel for how they lived and what they left behind. This fine half-timbered house built in 1767 was the home and office of the local magistrate. That's the main entrance. Next up on our walking tour is the home and office also, even today, of the local parish minister. In the cellar, were at the time, back a couple hundred years ago, barrels holding 900 liters of his annual wine allotment. That's 237 gallons. Of course, questions still remain. Like, why did they leave? How did they choose the area they lived in Ohio? I didn't know that even though the land in Ohio did not have vineyards, it was also very similar to this landscape. Roses and other flowers are planted at the end of the vineyard rows as an early warning system for the wine grower. 
They attract insects like aphids before they attack the vines. The Württemberg Mausoleum is a mausoleum located on the Württemberg. It's near the village of Rotenberg, which is next to Ulbach. It was designed by the Italian architect Giovanni Salucci for King Wilhelm I of Württemberg to house the remains of his second wife, Catherine Pavlovna of Russia. Construction lasted four years from 1820 to 24, and the work on the decor on the inside lasted another four years. The remains of Wilhelm I, Catherine, and their daughter Maria Frederica Charlotta are in the mausoleum, which is built to resemble the Roman Pantheon. It's beautiful dome an oculus that has a glass panel over it, some beautiful statues of the four evangelists carved from the finest Carrera marble, biblical scenes on the screen behind which the remains are, that's Wilhelm, and there's his second wife, Catherine. over Ulbach from the chapel. That's actually an insect house to attract the good insects. As I take a spin around the bowl of vineyards above Ulbach on my e-bike. It's still wine country as it was almost 300 years ago, but now we can visualize our ancestors out in the vineyards working and looking down over their town. Knowing that I'm looking at the same things they did is soothing and helps me feel a part of them. Still getting used to holding my phone in a Osmo, which has a built-in leveling device, riding at the same time. Now I admit I sped the film up here I'm not really riding this fast downhill. That would be very reckless. I just wanted to give you a sense of the bowl that uh, Ulbach lies in, surrounded by these beautiful vineyards and orchards. Truly is a small garden of Eden, just a short distance away from the hustle bustle and frankly, the ugliness of the city of Stuttgart. More flowers, which uh, help protect the vines from uh, different kinds of molds and rot. And a beer garden, of course, a beer garden, where I had my lunch, surrounded by a vast network of hiking and biking trails, which the Germans absolutely love. They love their forests, they love their trails, they love their outside exercise, and I'm one of them. Lunch of local bratwurst, some kartoffel salat, and some fine views looking north over Ulbach with the Grab Capella on the hilltop just beyond. Ran into a local when I was up in these hills and he said that he found Ulbach about 12 years ago and he said he doesn't plan to ever leave. He said this truly is a garden. It's a paradise. I may not be able to make it there, but this is definitely the next best thing. I will continue my quest to learn more about the Lemleys and related families from Ulbach. Meanwhile, we can all view this video and feel closer to them. I want to thank Sandy for engaging me to photograph and share with you all Ulbach in Baden-Württemberg, Germany. I truly enjoyed the process of putting this together for you. It's something I've done more than 3,000 times since I began European Focus back in 1989. And I look forward to doing it many more times. Thanks for your attention. Auf Wiedersehen.